Hey y'all, welcome back to the vlog. So I did a video of when I first got Honey, but I never made a video of a little update, so I thought since she's um, a year and about four months now, I would give an update on her, her personality, training tips, where we got her, and covering some basic stuff like that. So with all that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get started. What do you think? She's like, not about it. Okay, so for those of you who are new here, this is our sweet honey girl. She is full toy poodle. Coloring is apricot and she is just our absolute angel child stunning queen that she is. Got her perfectly at the right timing right before COVID. So last January, 2020, she was born in November 2019 so yeah it's been about a year and a few months. She has just grown into such a little cutie, a great personality so I just wanted to share with you guys um, some of her personality traits, how much she weighs. So she is now 12 pounds and she is full grown. She's a little bigger than her parents were actually. Her mom I believe was eight pounds and her dad was 10 pounds so I guess we thought she was gonna be a little smaller but she wasn't but she is just so sweet and perfect. She's very long and lean. Apparently toy poodles have very good metabolism. So yeah, she's, it's very funny. She's a very long and lean girl. We have like adopted dogs my whole life. And this time I was like, okay, I really want to get a toy poodle. So we were looking around um, for breeders and such. Couldn't find one in Arizona. So I ended up stumbling across puppyspot.com, which I was very skeptical about at first because it's on the internet and I was like is this a scam it's a lot of money so anyways doing it was actually the best decision we had such a great experience it's cool because puppy spot even has an app with all of like her data on it it's really cool um yeah so she was actually flown in here from Montana I believe and I just picked her up at the airport but it was a great experience. I love Puppy Spot. I would totally do it again for those of you who are wondering. I get that question a lot living in Arizona. People are like, where'd you get honey? I'm looking to get a toy poodle. But yeah, we could not find any toy poodles here. So we decided to go through the Puppy Spot realm and that was great. If you've been following along with me for a little while, you know that honey was crate trained. If you're a new puppy mama, we had definitely some trouble with that. And luckily I have a bunch of Instagram followers who are so great and were like coaching me through the whole thing. We also did puppy training. We went to PetSmart and COVID hit, so we actually didn't get a finish, but I'm like, whatever. So for crate training though, we found what was really helpful was the toy Snuggle Puppy. So look it up on Amazon. I think it's like $30, but it basically imitates like her having her brothers and sisters there with her. And it has, it like has a little heart inside the stuffed animal toy. So um, the stuffed animal toy is like warm and it has a little heartbeat to it. It's, it was such a game changer. And I've heard, I've heard so many other um, puppy parents say the same thing when it comes to crate training. Also, we put something in the crate that smelled like us, so like a t-shirt, and also a huge game changer was covering the crate fully, which I was like, that seems weird. I don't know why they would like it to be like pitch black and stuff, but again, a game changer. So she was up the first night just howling and howling, and then the next night when we tried all of those things, it was like perfect. So anyways, I would say we crate trained her for about a year and now as of a month ago we um have let her start sleeping with us we would have start we would have started letting her sleep with us earlier but she actually like would not sleep whenever we oh and she's so sweet like i was saying we would have had her sleep with us earlier but she just would not sleep through the night. She would just wake us up like every hour and lick our faces. So now she's to the point where she sleeps through the night with us and it's great. She doesn't like jump on us in the middle of the night anymore. Yeah, so that's why we crick trained her for so long just because she was not, she was not ready for the bed life, but she's doing great now. We love having her in the bed. Um, I just overall want to say like after having a toy poodle and I've had a lot of other dogs in my lifetime just growing up with a bunch of animals but toy poodles are seriously my favorite for so many different reasons and maybe I'm biased just because like she's my baby but they just have the funniest quirkiest little personalities which is what I've heard from so many people who um know of toy poodles it's just 
she's hilarious. I think she's a perfect size because she's not like too small, uh, but she's not too big either in my opinion. She's hypoallergenic. She doesn't shed. But I would say the one hard thing um, with toy poodles is they get a lot of ear infections. She actually currently has one right now that we're kind of working on and their hair is definitely a little difficult. <laughs> her hair looks so wild right now. But we've found that taking her to the groomer every month, it's like, can be pricey, but I'm telling you, it is way better than having to like groom her daily with her fur. So we found that that's super helpful um, with that. And yeah, so we go to PetSmart for grooming. I just tell them I want the teddy bear cut. I actually show my groomer a picture. And so um, she gives her kind of like a triangle nose. And I like to keep her hair pretty short just because I don't want it to get too tangled and matted to keep her comfortable. And also because it's, you know, less grooming for me if I keep it shorter. And I just think it looks really cute too. I think she likes it shorter. It gets really hot here, so it's nice. If anyone here is in an apartment, I would say one of the greatest things that we have that we got from Amazon is a little grass turf pad and it's for like her peen. So we actually have one of those doorbells too that she rings. That's like the doorbell with the bells on it that you can train her to ring the doorbell and go outside to go potty. So that's been life changing too. We got both on Amazon. If you want to learn how to train your dog with the doorbell, you can look it up on YouTube. It's probably going to be more helpful than I would be. Um, but yeah, so she just rings the doorbell, goes out, goes on her pee pad. It's great. It has a little compartment that you can empty. It just beats going downstairs all the time to take her out. So yeah, we still go on daily walks and such, but just as far as going potty, it is like a game changer. Other than her little cute quirky personality, um, she doesn't bark very much, which is amazing. One of the things I was the most concerned with getting a small dog, having come from a family of labs and golden retrievers, I was very nervous for the small dogs who can be yappy and so I am very thankful that she's not really a barker like you can see she's looking outside and she's fine she does like her occasional you know if she sees a dog she'll just bark away but I mean what dog doesn't really um but yeah she's very chill she sleeps for like most of the day and one of my favorite favorite things about her little personality is that she is so so cuddly it is my favorite thing she's always cuddled up on next to me i work from home so it's really nice i'm um, just she's literally always on my lap so just she's amazing i literally have nothing bad to say she is very picky with her food she only eats wet dog food so that's been great we've literally tried so hard to get her on just normal dry dog food because it's so much you know so much less expensive but yeah, she just is not about that, not about that life. She just will choose not to eat for days if she, you know, if there's dry dog food. So yeah, she's definitely a diva. She can be like a little scared of things. Um, like she's pretty adventurous compared to most small dogs, but she can shake at certain things. Like she used to be very afraid of the um, elevator and will be kind of just like more afraid like of certain types of flooring like even walking into PetSmart if it's kind of slippery she's kind of weird but I would say another great thing about her is that with other dogs she is so good which I am shocked she never growls at anyone she's always the friendliest dog to whoever we meet she like is just always wanting to say hello whether it's a huge dog or a teeny dog she's just so friendly great with kids we have a bunch of nieces and nephews in our family I actually have eight so whenever they come down here i'm always like oh my goodness i'm a little nervous to see how she's gonna act with kids and then eventually when me and brandon have kids too i'm like oh i hope she's really good with kids she is so loving towards them she sometimes does like nip on them a little bit but she is still a puppy so i'm like okay i get that well honestly i feel like that's pretty much all i have for you guys i am definitely open to answer some more questions in the comments let me know if i missed anything i tried to write down a list and like answer everything that i could think of but i feel like i probably hit more of the most basic questions um yeah overall i love this dog so much and toy poodles in general that me and Brandon have both said we never want to get a different breed like in our whole lifetime. We just love this breed so much and I'm honestly shocked because 
like I said, I have never met a toy poodle before this. I only saw their pictures and thought they were super cute. I knew that they didn't shed. I knew that they were hypoallergenic, but I never knew like how much I would love her personality, everything about her. It's insane. So yes, I would say if you are thinking about getting a toy poodle, a thousand percent, I would recommend. Um, yeah, honestly, just gonna end it with that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So tired. Questions in the comments. I would love to hear them. We love you so much. She's my little best friend. And we hope you guys have a good Saturday.